driveway and that hole under the rock is where a groundhog used to live. So uh, <laughs> Reggie likes to investigate it every few days. Day two of the Sweet Sparrow Yarns Advent Calendar. This is called The Cottage in the Snow. And it was inspired by the way that our house looks in snow. Um, our house is white with a stone foundation um, and green shutters. And I put it on a sparkle base to give it that beautiful, magical look that snow has. Um, the morning when you wake up and there's fresh snow on the ground. And I also included these little wooden snowflake buttons, there we go, in day two of the Sweet Sparrow Yarns Advent Calendar. They're just little wooden buttons. I thought they could be really cute as an accent on a hat. Um, I just thought they were really sweet. Is day two of the Stress Knits Advent Calendar. This is called Ice King and it's an icy blue and white and little bits of gold. And my Advent Calendar from Laura. Day two is this gorgeous sort of rusty brick red color. Oh that is so pretty. Last, but of course not least, we have my advent calendar from Catherine of Bed of Roses. And I wanted to show you the way this is packaged because I think it is so clever. This is a page of, I assume a catalog of some kind with sort of festive holiday images on it and she has sewn it to a little envelope and inside there was this beautiful wooden snowflake ornament and a progress keeper for my progress keeper necklace oh excuse me Bilbo just tried to make off with my ornament. So this is a little gold star charm with some stones on it. I think they're green. I'll have to check in better lighting, but it is beautiful. And Bilbo, I'm trying to film a vlogmas here. He doesn't care. Hello. It is a little bit after five. I have finished work for the day and I'm going to finish decorating our Christmas tree. There's still some ornaments that need to go on because as you know, if you have watched previous year's Vlogmas, I have a lot of ornaments. So let's put those on. Have a cozy little evening.
at this weird little guy. The Christmas duck. I think I actually have two of these. I might have given one to my brother last year. It's so weird. I love it. I decided to do a little elf magic and put up some twinkle lights in the kitchen. Let me show you from the other side. Oh, and some mistletoe. So our kitchen has these amazing uh, beams. So I gussied them up with some fairy lights. I just made some dinner. This is not the most attractive looking thing, particularly in this lighting, but it is really delicious. This is chorizo from our local farm, um, refried pinto beans, black beans, and rice. Just really simple. Um, it's extremely cold here today and kind of wet and raw, so I wanted to make something toasty and warming, and I think this will be just the thing. My little ritual is that I watch Chopped while I'm cooking and while I am doing dishes, and it just brings me a lot of joy. I really enjoy the, uh, the routine of it, and I've found that since starting to learn more about cooking um, from uh, watching Samin Nozrat's, uh, oh gosh, the, oh, oof. <laughs> okay, um, from watching Samin Nozrat's uh, series on Netflix and reading her book, Salt, Fat, Acid, Heat, um, the series on Netflix is actually the same uh, title, and um, listening to her podcast. I just find her very, uh, very accessible. She's very, um, she makes food very easy to understand. It's interesting to watch Chopped after learning more from her because I feel like I understand why the chefs are doing what they're doing much more than I did previously.